Thank you for being here, everybody. I'm Muriel Bowser, and we are kicking off our second annual Great Graffiti Wipeout Campaign. Uh, that's good news. Great Graffiti Wipeout Campaign. I'm happy about it. Uh, so let me begin by acknowledging Chris Shorter, who leads our Department of Public Works and Transportation. Give Chris a big round of applause. And our entire DPW team, uh, who one part of their big job is making D.C. beautiful, and we're going to talk a little bit about that today. I also want to recognize Arthur Espinoza, who I think I saw, who's right here. Uh, and Arthur leads the district's D.C. Commission on Arts and the Humanities. And I I also want to thank all of the commissioners from Arts and Humanities. So uh, we all know that there's never been a better time to live in D.C. We have uh, residents and businesses choose the District of Columbia each and every month. Uh, and we are growing uh, and growing and growing. As we celebrate our city's continued growth, we must also ensure that our government is working in the most effective ways and the most efficient ways possible. It also means working hand in hand with the community to make Washington, D.C. a more attractive place for residents uh, in all eight wards where they go to work, where they live and where they play. So today and for the next two weeks, we're going to be focused on getting back to basics and celebrating back to basics, D.C. And we are going to highlight. We're going to highlight the day-to-day -day work that keeps our city going. So part of this work includes removing graffiti, illegal posters, hot, in hot spots in neighborhoods across D.C. Graffiti is more than a public nuisance. It really blights communities, and it is very costly uh, to the district. The district spends nearly $500,000 every year on efforts to remove it. But what we've learned is one of the most effective ways is to replace uh, a frequently tagged area with beautiful artwork. And that is what our Murals DC project is all about. As some of you may know, Murals DC artists paint original works of art on graffiti lace walls. And where we're standing today is the gateway to the U Street corridor, right across from the historic Howard Theater. Unfortunately, walls like this have endured years of repeated tagging. So we've decided to make this site our Murals DC site. And that is a great uh, announcement. We're also here to ask residents and business owners to help us wipe out graffiti. And there are a few things that you can do. First, along with the Department of Parks and um, of Public Works and the Commission on Arts and Humanities, we are working to identify walls in each ward that would benefit from a new mural. Walls that are highly visible to vehicle traffic, in good condition, and are located on commercial property are ideal for this effort. So when you find your wall of choice, tweet a picture at DCDPW with the hashtag nominate my wall. Once again, at DCDPW with the hashtag nominate my wall. Second, property owners can also apply for free murals using the same hashtag. We're urging all residents to participate and celebrate your neighborhood's culture and diversity. Again, uh, we're grateful to all of our businesses who are here to help us uh, wipe out graffiti ward by ward. So to follow us for the next two weeks about our efforts looking at our agencies that keep the district clean and beautiful and running and humming on time, follow us at hashtag back to basic DC. Back to basics DC. So I want to thank you very much and I think Director Shorter is going to tell us what we do next. All right. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. All right. Thank you again, Mayor. So I want to give really uh, some serious acknowledgement uh, and a big thank you to the mayor for her continued leadership and support. This program would not be possible without the mayor. Uh, certainly in the FY18 budget, we're going to continue to do uh, what we've been able to do and, uh, and so, Mayor, thank you again for all the support. I also want to acknowledge the graffiti team right here to my Ooh, left. They are the ones who do all of the work. Uh, this program was so popular. As many of you know, uh, this was a six-week program last year. 
uh, and we've added two additional weeks given the popularity of the program. And so uh, thank you to the team uh, for all of the hard work that you do uh, every day. Uh, like the mayor suggested, graffiti is a ch huge challenge for us. And, and the work that we do every day in uh, dealing with service requests is extremely important to this agency and certainly important to the city. The Murals DC program is one of our most effective ways uh, to combat uh, graffiti. And so I'm really excited to be joined by Director Arthur Espinazzo to, uh, to give some remarks as well. Um, their partnership, the Commission on Arts and Humanities, uh, their partnership in this program makes the program what it is. Uh, and so this is, we're celebrating our 10th year um, for the program. And, uh, and so thank you to the commission. They are uh, matching our funding for the program this year. So we'll be able to provide twice as many, uh, hopefully, murals uh, in this time period as we do in normal years. Uh, so I'm going to pause and ask uh, the director to come up and give a few marks as well. Well, thank you, Director Shorter, and thank you, Madam Mayor, for being here today. So behind us is a, is a wall that is nothing but opportunity, an opportunity for us to take this wall and make it something new. So take your photos now because this is the before, and after Murals DC has its way, it's going to be something even better. And that's one thing that the Commission is very proud to be a part of. This 10th year anniversary is quite notable. And I want to take a moment to thank all of the teams that have worked, this to, worked on this and made this happen for many, many years, including the graffiti team, but also the teams of the Commission in the Arts and Humanities and Department of Public Works, in particular two of our key uh, at talent that work on that, Nancy Lyons and Kiana Pearson. This program celebrates 10 years. Yes, absolutely of a program that we know that isn't just about removing graffiti. It's a program that helps to change lives because what happens when we come in and we make a place uh, different again, we give ourselves new identity. Not only that, this graffiti abatement program helps to build the lives of artists because one of the programs reaches out through an, art, an education effort to help young individuals who are looking to try and advance their own careers as artists into muralists. So what we do is we team together with the muralists that are coming out to paint the site with young people and help them develop the creative new spirit that moves the city forward. So I'm very proud to be a part of this. Um, the, these mu the, the murals that you'll find all over the city through this program are quite incredible and we have a collection of them at our website. So we invite you to visit our website at the Commission on the Arts and Humanities. I want to thank uh, the, the city, uh, Madam Mayor, again, for her continued support of this. We're happy to double the efforts and double the funding this year from the Commission on the Arts and Humanities. I also want to thank the commission who oversees the Commission on the Arts and Humanities, in particular Chair Kendall, who's unable to be here today. But I want to thank her for her leadership and her guidance. And I'm looking forward to seeing many more beautifuls and to hearing your suggestions about where else art needs to help our city be as beautiful as it can be and as enjoyable as it can be. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. I think we're going to hear from one of our property owners, Thomas Hart. Tom? Thank you very much. Thomas Hart is my name. Uh, interestingly enough, I bought this property back here uh, 10 years ago, right at the start of the anti-graffiti uh, movement. And uh, they still tag my wall. <laughs> but uh, hopefully uh, it will be less frequent and more artistic as uh, this program uh, develops over the years. I want to definitely commend the mayor's leadership, not only on this ob objective, but on all objectives that she's been committed to uh, as the mayor of D.C. And um, we are working together with her and others to try to beautify Shaw, in, in fact, we're hopeful to be able to activate this lot and make it also an opportunity for artists and creative people to come and mingle and have some good times and good conversations. So this is my second year participating in the anti-graffiti uh, movement. Uh, director Shorter has done a great job, Nancy Lyons, and uh, the new director of uh, arts and humanities, uh, Mr. Espinoza. That's a great team to bring arts and humanities to this area. I want to recognize uh, 
the people that are artistic in the building. That's Molly with uh, One Love Massive. She has a booking agency and uh, an arts collective. And we have a new retail uh, player in the Shaw area called Grindstone, uh, made in D.C. So uh, we're pushing D.C., we're pushing art, and we're pushing creativity here right across the street from the Howard Theater. So let's work together and continue our efforts to beautify and energize Washington, D.C., my hometown. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I think uh, Alex Pedro might be next, but you are the mayor. Thank you. I do want to recognize Alex Pedro from Shaw Main Street. Give Alex a big round of applause. And all of our business owners in Shaw, give them a big round of applause. And I think we're going to take a few questions and get in some shade. Uh, and then we're going to see an alley as well. Any questions? Yes. Is the uh, program limited to DC artists or artists from anywhere can participate? Arthur, why don't you tell us how artists uh, can participate? Sure. Uh, I think the question was uh, the, the call for the artists. And we do put a call out for artists. We primarily work with artists in the District of Columbia. And so information specifically about the call is put out through our website and shared across with the DPW uh, website as well. But we do look for talented muralists from across the district as our primary source. Yes, Martin. Uh, just well, real quick on this wall, like how quickly is this going to start getting painted over? Well, it's a, it's a matter of identifying the artist for this spot. Um, and our goal is to have that completed by the end of the fiscal year, which is September. So um, the, the timeline will be predicated on the work that we can develop with the artist. But once it gets going and once the artist is selected, they spend a little time with community engagement. We want to make sure that an, an historic site like this, right across from the Howard Theater, reflects the desires of the community. So the artists take time to go out and get to know some of the community members and hear their stories and incorporate that into their artistic renderings. So once that comes together, our goal again is the end of the fiscal year. And then just real quick, it could be to the mayor, to Director Short. I mean, you're talking about a back to basics campaign. I mean, stuff from like filling hot potholes, making sure trash is picked up, that sort of stuff. How do you as mayor or Director Short, how do you guys keep tabs on this sort of stuff to make sure it's getting done and that people's requests are getting responded to Well, quickly? certainly, uh, and thank you for that question, Martin. The question was how, if we're talking about back to basics, how do we know we're delivering on those services? And I'm recognizing the Deputy Mayor, uh, Kevin Donahue, who is, who is also here, and the whole in the entire operations cluster, we operate basically on a dashboard. We look for the types of things that tell us how well agencies are working. I'll give you one of the metrics I follow for DPW. I look at missed trash pickups, uh, and that is an indicator to me of how well the entire system is working. If I see them peak up at different times, uh, if I see a certain ward that's getting uh, more missed than other wards, then that's an indicator uh, of an of a issue that, that we're having. Uh, and so we, uh, with our 311 system that we encourage people to use, we can track that information, where it is, if there are uh, peaks uh, at certain times of the year or if there are peaks in certain wards, and then we, we know when we're closing them. Any other questions? Our, you You're welcome. All right, let's look at the wall. Thank you, everybody.
Valley has also been a big problem with, uh, with public urination, and we're still working on trying to line it up so that uh, we have that to be less of an issue. From every direction, to be honest with you, from nightclubs, uh, you know, after hours, etc., and uh, the homeless. Excuse me. In the heritage of DC, of course, is so much all about our music scene as well. So this is great to be here. Well, this is a year old. We used to think of last September, yeah. but my seat is not Okay. And she wanted something that sort of reflected what was going on. And they, um, this basically this is a, a, a nod to the legends of the past and the current legends. Which is why you have Duke Ellington and Wale juxtaposed. But oh, Wale has two walls. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know. Yikes. Yikes. And she's He's got the big. at the center because apparently um, at some point, this was the area of the famous billiard. Um, oh, okay. I was wondering hall, where that came where Duke from. Duke Ellington okay. uh, used to frequent. Okay. I didn't know that. Which one? This? One um, I think it was across the street. Okay. No, actually, this building, this building, building right here was the pool room. Was a pool room. Oh, still, you can yeah. still see the, the old neon sign frame is still attached okay. there. Okay, I didn't know And that. across the street. Okay. The pool room, like across it. the street also. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you. Oh, I told you. This used to be a pool room right here, too. Oh, I have to fix that. I listen to a tree chant. You don't do those kind of things. Oh, I love yeah, that. I just met him. Um, I just got to meet him. Okay. 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 I am. Are you kidding? Yeah, I'm on Twitter. Twitter. Absolutely. Come on up, guys. We're going to take a picture. Yeah. Come on, we'll get it right out. Kevin, stand up here, please. Thank you. All right. Hold on. It's hot, so I don't want to look like I'm going to All right. Everyone, right here. All right. What else good? Get down here. I'm gonna I'm gonna Thank put you. one on for back to basics. I have an idea to nominate my ball. Alright. Do I have to take a picture? Is that the have yeah, you have to take a picture. Right, I'm going to take a picture. I'll be All right. the Send it in. Send it in. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Kevin. How are you? Good to see you. I have an idea. That's you have great. Idea? Well, we have several oh, locations. Alright, I'm going to put one up. I'm going to be first. Thank you, guys. Yeah. What am I saying?